Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland and in this, sh this video, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with non-parametric statistics uh, we're going to consider what's known as the Friedman test uh, which is a test of uh, let's say related samples test where you measure uh, there's more than two samples uh, and they're related the measurements are uh, they're dependent on each other uh, so like this is an extension uh, <coughs> excuse me this is an, an extension of the let's say the Wilcoxon signed rank test uh, where you have a before and an after measure on the same individual uh, but in this case we've got more than one measure so we've got let's say baseline we've got mid and we have endpoint measures yeah on individuals uh, so the measurements at each level are dependent on each other okay and this Friedman test is the test that we can uh, do to, to to help us understand whether there is a change across the particular across the particular levels and as an example let's say that we have have some sort of baseline measure let's say a base measure and uh, let's say we have a midpoint measure and an end measure on students yeah okay uh, that are following some let's say maths program uh, the program is really try to prepare them for some sort of let's say entry exam into college uh, and we want to try to find out what the uh, how successful this particular program is uh, so we measured the uh, students on entry halfway through the program and at the end we measure them again okay uh, and let's say for uh, for argument's sake that the first student scored 40 uh, followed by 50 followed by 60 the next student scored let's say no sorry in this example we're going to be assuming that there's no ties so the change for a particular student across the the measurement points that there's going to be no ties across it so we wouldn't have 40 40 60 that was a tie there okay so there's no ties uh, otherwise it gets a little bit more complicated when we have ties and there's a correction factor that has to be taken into consideration uh, when we're doing the test statistics so let's just keep it simple at this stage and let's do the no ties scenario so the first individual scores was 40 50 and 60 let's say the next one uh, let's say was 50 let's say 42 uh, let's say uh, let's say uh, 50 58 uh, let's say we have uh, let's say 70 60 and 50 let's say we have so this person dropped their scores actually dropped as they said on this particular course uh, let's say uh, we have 45 let's say we have 48 and let's say we have 51 let's say we have it's hard actually to just to generate random values uh, when you're when you're sort of on the spot and the camera is rolling uh, let's say we have uh, let's say 30 uh, let's say we have 46 and let's say we have 42 let's say we have 48 30 and 15 and let's just throw in one more measurement let's say we have uh, 64 72 and 85 so really in this particular in this situation we had one two three four five six seven we had seven participants participants okay and they were measured uh, three times uh, okay, at baseline midpoint and endpoint on a particular scale okay uh, so you can actually see that for each participant each measurement is dependent is dependent on on well it's measured on the same participant so there is a dependence across those particular measures so the the test statistic just maybe just to pull the test statistic out of the air this Friedman test statistic uh, F or it looks very complicated looking but it's actually straightforward enough uh, is equal to 12 divided by n times k times k plus 1 times the sum of the ranks okay the ranks for each group squared okay uh, so for each one of the groups the sum of the ranks minus 3 times 3 times n times times k plus 1 so it's 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 quite similar to what we've actually seen before I suppose uh, maybe when we when we actually had a look at the Kruskal Wallace test it's quite similar to that uh, but in this case this is a dependent sample this is a dependent sample situation and not an independent sample uh, situation so uh, what do these parameters represent well n represents the number the number of participants participants okay k the number of levels the number of groups number of groups okay? uh, and or or is the sum of ranks the sum of the ranks okay that 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 were that were assigned okay to to a group okay if that makes sense uh, excuse me so we're gonna have one of these statistics yeah okay 
we're going to have one of these uh, statistics, yeah, which is going to be an overall measure of this here. So what we need to do is we need to take our data set. So where's my ruler? Here it is here. I'm going to take the data set here now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to rank it, okay? So we're going to have, we're going to rank across the participant scores, okay? So let's say the rank at baseline, the rank at midpoint, 